Hello, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial video. Okay, this time I'll be showing you how to unlock the bootloader on the brand new Moto G6. This will also work with the Moto G6 Plus and G6 Play, and it should also work with every other Moto device. So yeah, it's going to be quite a lengthy video, so I'm going to take you through the whole process. I'm not going to skip any parts of the video, I'm going to show you everything from beginning to end, just to show you that this definitely does work. So um, first things first, you'll need to, on your device, another thing is, bear in mind that this does void your warranty, so you have been warned, so... Um, and another thing is it's going to wipe the device totally clean so make sure you back up anything important you have on the device pictures videos whatever telephone numbers just make sure you've got everything backed up because like i said it's going to wipe the entire device clean so yeah now that's out of the way i'm going to show you exactly how to unlock it so first things first go into the settings and scroll down to system and about phone build number just keep tapping on it till it says you are now a developer then go back and look for developer options select it here at the top make sure it says on and scroll down to where it says OEM unlocking allow the bootloader to be unlocked Turn that on as well, enable it. And turn USB debugging on as well. Okay, so next, you'll need to head to the link in the description down below and download this file, minimal ADB. So download it from the link in the description then just click on it, hit yes, next, I accept the agreement, hit next, and by default it's going to save to the C drive, x86, minimal ADB and fast boot, hit next, hit next, install, and then finish. Okay, so let's just check the C drive, make sure that it's all set up, so go to C drive, program files x86, and there it is, minimal ADB and fast boot. Okay, so it's all set up there. Okay, next, head on to the link in the description down below, it's going to take you to the Motorola website going to take you to this page and um, you'll need to sign into this page using your Google Plus account or your Google account whichever okay so I've got some instructions here install the Android SDK you can skip that you don't need to install it install the latest Motorola USB drivers on your desktop so if you don't have the Motorola drivers installed, which you should have, just click here and download them and install them. So next we're going to go to put your device in fast boot mode, power off and press the power and volume down button simultaneously. Okay, so next you're just going to highlight this. Fast boot OEM get unlock data. So just highlight it, right click and copy it. Now put the phone into fast boot mode. So to do that, just power it off. And you're going to press in between the volume up and down button, and you're going to press the power button at the same time. So just keep them held down until it takes you into fast boot. Now use the volume down button and keep going down to where it says start. Okay, so now we're going to go to the X86 
folder where we installed on the C drive where we installed the minimal ADB so program files x86 minimal ADB and fastboot and then connect your phone to the USB cable let's just do that and then find the blank space in here and press shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse so shift on your keyboard and right click and this box will pop up open command window here and then now just paste that command into there fastboot OEM get unlocked data then hit enter okay so what we need to do now is right click on here select all and then hit enter now go to your notepad so just type in notepad and then just paste all of that into there and now what we need to do is just copy this code If you can copy it without the bootloader bit, just do that. You just need the code itself. Okay, so let me open up the notepad again because I'm going to have to edit the bootloader part. So notepad. We don't want that bootloader bit on there, we just want the code itself. Okay, so select file, save as, so let's just save that as bootloader code, bootloader code, okay so Next, we're just going to go back to the website, Motorola's website. Okay, so the return string will be used to retrieve the unlock code. Example on Windows Desktop, the return string format should be. Okay, so let's just scroll down. Okay, so now we're just going to go to number six. Check if your device can be unlocked by pasting the string in the field below and clicking can my device be unlocked. Okay, so. Let's just go to where did I save that bootloader? There it is, bootloader code. Okay, so. Just going to copy all of this. Go back to the C drive. Program x86 minimal ADB. 
find a blank space, shift and right click on the mouse, open command window here, go back to the Motorola site, okay so just going to paste that code into there okay so now we can't leave any gaps and we need to get rid of these wait a minute paste to give it the five lines right okay so what we need to do now is these little gaps here we just need to close them up so just go into each one of these little gaps and press the backspace to close them up in fact let's just highlight it to make it easier so we can see them that bit clearer so Okay, I think that should be it. Can my device be unlocked? So scroll down. Select I agree, request unlock key, and then you should get this little notification here saying unless you have a developer edition device this will void your warranty. Go ahead and hit OK. Then you should see this, you should have received an email in your an email with your unlock key inside. Okay, so the the Google Plus account what you used to sign into the Motorola website, you need to go to that email, I mean to that Google account to get the unlock code. So let me just go into my Gmail account and there it is, there's my email. So I'll just copy it. Please follow the instructions here to unlock your bootloader. Okay, so you should see that your device is connected to unlock the bootloader into the following command line fast right so go back to the minimal adb you should have still had it open and you're just going to type fast boot space O E M space unlock and then space again. So fast boot O E fast boot space O E M space unlock and then space again and then right click and paste the code into there. 
and then hit enter and then it will say warning this command erases all your user data please rerun this command to continue okay so just run the code the command again so fast boot space OEM space unlock space and then right click let me just make sure yeah I've made a space so right click paste and then enter and then it should say bootloader is unlocked rebooting phone and your phone should then reboot so just make sure it says bootloader is unlocked rebooting phone okay the phone should then reboot you can unplug it and then just press start press the power button to start and you should then see the unlocked bootloader warning here I'm going to do a video showing you how to get rid of this warning once you've unlocked the bootloader. And then the device should then boot up. So it's not that hard to do guys as you can see, um, I've made this video literally using one hand and it took 17, Hello, just over 17 Hello. minutes and I did not skip anything I've shown you from the beginning to the end just to show you that it does work 100%. And like I said, this works with uh, G6 Plus, also the G6 Play. So you will have to go through the initial setup again. Because it's totally formatted the phone. Let me just show you which model I have. So model G6. I can't see the model number here, it's not listed. Um, I'll leave a link, I'll leave a model number in the description. So yeah guys, this is how you unlock the bootloader on the Moto G6. Like I said, um, it works with the G6 Play, the G6 Plus, and it should also work with every other Motorola device. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned, like I said, I'll be showing you how to get rid of that message, that unlocked bootloader message. I'll also be rooting this device as well. I'll be showing you how to root it. When some custom ROMs are available, I'll be flashing some custom ROMs, installing them. Um, I'll be doing quite a few more videos on this device. So yes, yeah, stay tuned. It's your boy, the Android Doctor. I'm out.